So there are all these different components that to keep them and bring them together. When they teach that everything is from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad So ulama will go back and say, oh it says that Sayyidina Jibreel came and brought that secret to Sayyidina Maryam, Sayyidina Maryam salam. No, but Sayyidina Jibreel is from whose light salam? All the angels are Muhammadan light, everything is from Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything is subject to that authority and to that sultanate. InshaAllah Allah give us more, and more understanding in this reality. This month opens the reality of that kursi, its authority, its sultanate and that by repeating that holy verse and contemplating for our hearts to understand that authority and what Allah has given. So anything you read of angels those are Muhammadun Rasulullah those are the Muhammadan lights. Any hadith al Jabbar, the book was the first thing that Allah created Ya Sayyidiya Rasulul Kareem. Says the light of your Prophet before there was a heavens and earth, before there was a, a Bayt al Mahmur, before anything, the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah was created. And from that light, everything was brought into existence. So, alhamdulillah, that this immense blessings and that Allah created everything from that light and gave the sultanate and authority for heavens and earth and mulk and malakut all to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And as we draw closer to the last day then these amazing souls will begin to reappear as they're not dead and they have not passed away. That the qaqida has to be correct that when Every time people go to Medina to Munawwara there is a grave with the presence of Sayyidina Isa So any from our teachings would understand that there is no time. So Sayyidina Isa must be sitting there, must be standing there present with Sayyidina Muhammad present with Sayyidina Omar Farooq and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq salam. Why? Because there's an immense reality of that reality and, and wants the whole nation to pay their respects to that reality and to be dressed from that reality. So it means as we draw closer to the last days, the knowledge of last days becomes more and more open because this channel throws out these realities and then all those whom are secretly learning from it and watching then they'll be able to go back and start to begin to talk about it. That who is Sayyidina Isa salam to our nation and the true because when they say Dajjal we say deception. When they say Antichrist they say, you're correct because that has nothing to do with Sayyidina Isa salam. Sayyidina Isa salam is coming as with the sharia of Sayyidina Muhammad and to establish his true identity and his true relationship and what he truly meant by my father who is in heaven was not a mentioning of Allah but his father who is in heaven and that his kingdom is coming and his will because sakharnakum ma fi samawati wa ma fil Allah is giving the sharat in this holy ayat al kareem that his will is done in the heavens. Allah's will is hidden into the heart and to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So then who's giving the command in the heavens and the earth is Sayyidina Muhammad Qulun amru wal irada in Surah Al Yaseen Allah is describing in the holy heart of Prophet resides my amr, my commands and my irada and my will is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and none know the will of Allah That's only between Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that then every command is coming out, every reality is coming out.
And so to establish that kingdom and to establish that authority then it becomes more and more for Arifin to, to know the identity of these personalities and these holy souls that are coming upon the earth. And they're not coming from these ridiculous things that people are doing but they're coming to set this earth straight and that to bring the, the Muhammadan kingdom upon this earth. The kingdom in which Allah says, there is no religion but Islam means that submission to the will of Allah is only to be perfected from the realities of Islam and under the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us to see those days and to be blessed by those days and to have this true understanding of these realities that are coming upon the earth and what Sayyidina Isa salam represented of piety, of purity and nothing to do with lights, nothing to do with the destruction of trees, nothing to do with the eating of pork, nothing to do with putting images of weapons upon your neck, none of these, none of these. These are all what they call the anti-Christ because they are anti Sayyidina Isa salam. They're designed by Coca-Cola and different corporations and different holiday organizations but this has nothing to do with the heavens. As we draw closer to these realities the heavens will begin to clarify themselves that no they have nothing to do with that. Anyone want to get close to Sayyidina Isa go to Medina to Munawwara and his holy soul is present with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And this Allah gave to us as a gift. Anyone watching and says, I have a love for Sayyidina Isa salam, ahnan wa sahlan, come go to Medina to Munawwara and you will be in the presence of Sayyidina Isa salam. And this is a gift from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So the immensity of these realities is something that can't, can't be understood but only achieved through muhabbat and love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad so that Prophet begin to explain who his family is, the importance of his family and the destined role that the family plays in this creation of Allah We pray that to be dressed by these blessings, these holy nights of uh, remembering Sitna Zainab as salam of how much they suffered, how much they contributed, how much they are the kawtari realities that they uh, permitted such a talk to come out because they represent the kawthar. إِنَّا تَيْنَكَ الْكَوْثَرْ فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْهَرْ إِنَّ شَهْنِكَ هُوَ الْأَبْتَرْ They are the ones whom wanhar who have, who have given and forsaken themselves for the love of Allah the love of Sayyidina Muhammad We described before, we described last night with tafakkur contemplate the holy companions reach the station in which no one in creation can reach. If it was service to Allah there are many prophets who have served Allah, there are many holy people who have served Allah they could all reach that. But what did they achieve that no one can reach as they served Sayyidina Muhammad because of their service and khidmat and to live and die in the muhabbat and love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah clarified for us, no one can achieve what they achieve because they served my Habib in his physical presence. Because of that sultanat that we're describing, because of the immense lordship and kingship of that reality they came and they served their king with complete obedience, nobody can achieve these realities. That's why it was not in service to Allah it was in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad which was the secret of the service to Allah And that's what's important in our life is to live a life of service. If we can find Muhammadiyoon and live with them, eat with them, pray with them, serve with them to be dressed by these blessings, dressed by these realities. These Ahlul Bayt gave us tonight and last night and every night these teachings that are coming they're like a fountain flowing from their heart. And these are the kawthar realities in which you drink from it just by hearing, you bathe within it just by hearing. 
And as a result Allah is granting the soul kathiran, oceans that cannot be understood of abundance. For anyone who hears this reality has been granted an immense blessing. Right? So tonight we go home to sleep, your body can say, I don't understand what the shaykh just talked about, this was very mind-boggling, I don't understand. Doesn't matter but your soul does. The soul understands, Ya Rabbi from these, Sakhallakum ma fi samawati wa ma fi l'ard from who is Sayyidina Isa alayhi Ya Rabbi let my soul to be with them. And Allah said, go, if you heard it, I granted you a permission to hear it, now go and to be dressed by it, blessed by it, to be of, the, of that reality and of that caliber. So alhamdulillah, if Allah grant us to hear these realities, this is a, a ni'mat and a blessing. This is from the secret of their love that to give us from their kawthar, to drink from the kawthar, to wash from its kawthar. And as a result Allah grant us and teach us one heart, sacrifice, live a life of sacrifice and as a result, Abtar, I will cut off every badness from you. As a result of dressing you from this kawthar reality, I will cut off every badness that trying to come after you, every enemy that trying to come after you. And that Allah to grant us from these paradise realities on the birth of Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam, Sayyidina Zain al Abideen alayhi salam. And Imam Sajjad, that his name is Imam Sajjad for the immensity of how much he was in sujood making du'a to Allah by loving them, by coming and, and having a cake with them, drinking water from them, reciting fatiha for them, thinking and remembering the lives and their sacrifice is all that it takes for them to dress us and bless us. So tonight everyone ask in their sujood, Ya Rabbi for the sake of this holy souls take away our difficulties, grant us our blessings. If our rizq is not coming that Ya Rabbi grant my rizq for the sake of these souls. That if, if difficulty and sickness grant me a shifa and a healing and Ya Rabbi distance me from my enemies within and without. The ones whom I know and that I don't know, whom they're da'if in their brain and in their understanding and the people who have hasad and bad character, Ya Rabbi protect me from their badness and send whatever badness back to them as a shield upon me for the sake of these Ahlul Bayt, for the sake of Ashab al Nabi and overall for the sake of the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad and for Ya Rabbi for your love that is all encompassing upon their love. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Any ayat that we talk about, repeat often, recite off those ayats so that to be dressed by it, it's not coming just as a coincidence. It's something that is coming with its secret, with its light and with its dressing. This is the month to keep dressing that and in your prayers, keep mentioning in your sujood, Sakhallakum fi samawati ya Rabbi, your ayah, your words are true. And I'm asking you, asking the presence of Prophet Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, it's all in your hands and I'm at your feet. All my life is in your hands, I'm asking at your feet. I heard the ayat al kareem I understand it, ayat al kareem my protection is at your feet, my rizq is at your feet, my goodness and my good character at your feet. Shaitan is all around me and protect me. So all of these are the ways to take their knowledges and use them, don't just hear it and go on. It's don't live your life of just hearing something and go to the next thing and go to the next thing to use it. It's coming as a, as a weapon against shaitan and as a means of drawing close to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah Allah inspire us to use these knowledges. Those whom are watching online, alhamdulillah Allah dress you and bless you if you share the feed. And in the comments like school that put some comments that you understood the talk, put two, three points of what you understood from that talk. Thank you if you say, MashaAllah, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, this all great. But it would be nice to see that you understood the talk. And if you didn't, you go back quickly, listen again, take some note and say, oh, these were the three points, MashaAllah, is that because people are reading the comments and they understand oh, all these things are in that talk and the algorithm 
that's coming from YouTube that we are interacting with the audience because it's a classroom, 300 people are attending on a live session and it goes out to 5,000 people, 6,000, maybe 20,000 whom are hiding that they're watching and learning from this. So alhamdulillah whatever we do then just keeps building it, encourages the guys who are putting thumbnails and putting you know amazing graphics to everything, they're spending time and effort and everything so they get the satisfaction of hey, people actually listening to these things. It's not just for the shaykh's entertainment inshaAllah. So pray that everybody be blessed. Good night, remember the Ahlul Bayt and the Holy Companions, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah's immense love and blessings upon our soul to grant us all of these oceans. Bi hurmat Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri surud al Fatiha. Alhamdulillah wa shukran Ya Rabbi that you granted us this blessing, inshaAllah. Anybody confused from the talk tonight? Don't worry, keep chewing on it and tomorrow we get more clarity. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as Thank you guys.